What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle coming to you with another YouTube video, and so here we are. And true Nash, we're now worldwide syndicated. It's where it's where this is where it's at. Crypto Muscle, Crypto Muscle Network, large and in charge, pumping iron and public crypto. It's what I do. Come on, boy, the Crypto Muscle train, we could ride to the top. All right. But this is where it's at, alright. The weekly check-in on wrecked collaboration, money tree, and the drip, animal farm. Alright. Don't let this weasel fool you into thinking that it's going to be something. This is a ticking time bomb is what is really happening here. Alright. Ticking time bomb. And you know what's funny about this weasel? Alright. Because, you know, beginning of the year, he promised about, you know, giving an update every month about the progress or lack thereof in terms of how to deal with this sort of situation of what he put himself into, right? He put himself into the situation of two scenarios. One is either he took the money and ran, which isn't a lot of money, I mean, in general. He's always had six-figure dreams every year. He's going to make $100,000, right? Every every year, he puts that message out there. I want to make $100,000 this year. And I remember one year, he talked about joining these bot programs and said, oh, uh, I'm going to make $100,000 in six months. And I laughed. I mean, I, I just laughed when I heard that. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah right you know tell me when you actually start winning which is never right the only person to defy all logic all right you know how they always say that past results you can't rely on past results because it doesn't really indicate future results well this guy here your boy the weasel crypto weasel the tiwi himself has defied that logic time and time again because he has always wrecked himself every time time and time again wrecked himself out of crypto wrecked himself out of youtube what a bitch <laughs> for doing that and so he's saying the animal farm is going to be able to dig himself out of this little hole he put himself into oh so either one he took the money and two he actually wrecked himself from irresponsibly trading because the whole basis of this money tree was to, um, you know, make money uh, off of two different plans, right? 14 day and 30 day plans. And he was going to use spot trading, right? Uh, in terms of being able to have some sort of return every week. And, you know, he poked jokes about, oh, well, at least every week I could. Or every, you know, every time I run a plan that at least you get your money back, right? And uh, hand free. <laughs> hand free because one hand's down there and the other hand's up in the air. And you're just kind of like, I got a free hand. But, um, yeah. And, uh, but yet, I'm still here making and taking it while as this guy wrecked himself out of crypto. Either way, both losing scenarios, all right, that he put himself into. And looking at what's been going on, swap tracker, shitcoin. These are all shitcoin picks from the weasel, all right? Talking about how this is going to be something that's going to help pay him back. Get out of here, that shit, you know? Let's see, all time lows hit three days ago, all right? Man, every so often it hits all time lows over and over again. If Mar if the Bitcoin if Bitcoin and the rest of the coin market cap all right drops big time, all right, this shit's dead. Swap tracker's dead. We we need a market consolidation here. We need a market retraction of getting rid of all these shit coins. So drip. What's been going on at Drip and Animal Farm? All right. Uh, before I get to that, let's talk about the latest here. Let's see here. Forex. All right. So 
over the past week, right? Oh, our ads have been spotted on crypto YouTube and things, right? Oh, yeah, I mean, we targeted big DeFi channel, BitBoy, Elio Trades, Ivan on Tech. Yeah, guys, yeah. Oh, man, AMA on Moon Hunters. Yeah, guys. Oh, party on. Yeah, man. Holy shit, Moon Hunters. Oh, man. You know, yeah, guys. Woo. Right? Oh, we pushed the auto dog pound optimization. It's retroactive, meaning the pending animal farm pigs and auto dog pound are increased and animal farm pigs earned in the future by LP staked and all the are greatly increased. Holy shit. This is not adding any additional pigs to the circulation or increase increasing the inflation rate. It is just to efficiently allow them to earn more pigs and be distributed to LP and the auto dog pound. Holy shit. Right? And, uh, let's see, talk about, uh, celebrate optimization of auto dog pound. He did another $1 million injection into it. Holy shit. Right? Oh my gosh. And yet, you know, oh man, what else we got here? Oh, crypto doc, AMA, another AMA. Oh shit, tweet this, tweet that. Holy shit. And with, throughout all that, what's happening right now? And it's still going down. 270. Who would have thunk that? It's funny because he's done more work now with all these AMAs and all this stuff, you know, to put into the, you know, animal farm. And this has gotten worse than it's ever been. <laughs> right? Just a week ago, it was nearly double the price. All right? And look at it. 421. Now it's down to 270 and still falling. All right, a month ago, 550, and it's been it's half off, right? Literally, uh, 270. How about three months ago? Let's go look at that. Ten dollars, three months ago. Down to 270. So right now, ten dollars. If you bought it at 10, to try to put into all these different deals, you're already kind of at a loss here. Uh, if it stays here, will it stay here? I mean, why is there any reason to go back up? The reason to go back up is if not Forex putting money into any of this stuff, it's the people that need to put money into this stuff, All right? It's going to get to the point where Forex can't put money into these things anymore to support it. It's the people that need to come in to support it and build it back up. And if people are not, well then, shit, this thing is going to be failing. All right? So it's funny how that is. Let's take a look at uh, Animal Farm here. So total volume, looking not too bad, 130, right? But come on, Forex needs to help putting money into this thing. Get out of here, this shit. Uh, pig's still kind of holding around that fluctuating between like 110, 130 mark. So that's that. Dogs are still just kind of hanging around this $50 mark right now. Still. All right. Aside from dogs, which you held against people's will for the longest time, pigs has not gone anywhere near... The price that some people have paid, like Tiwi. <laughs> Tiwi paid 300 some dollars per pig. Still has not come to getting back to what he got. And lost nearly half the value of what he got from it. That's why his dreams of making $1,000 a day and $500 a day. Right? That has only been making, if he's lucky, even $20 a day. If he's lucky. All right, so where does this lead to? Where is this all going to lead to here? Well, there's only so much Forex can do to keep this thing going because AMAs are not working. All right, all this injection of money is not working. And when you really look at it, if you you're, if you bought it, you know, Animal Farm pigs at those higher prices, all right, 
then uh, you're already at a loss because you'll be lucky if it gets back up to those prices to make up, you know, for the lost value you got. And even with drip, if you bought them at these higher prices, right, in the $100 plus range, and it's only two seven right now, imagine of a loss that you're eating right now as we speak, right? And, you know, all these guys are going to sit there and say, oh, well, you know, guys, you know, buy it right now because it's so cheap. It's never going to be at this price again, right? $130, holy shit. But then it'll never be at that price again. You're right. <laughs> because it, it, it's just going to be down there, right? And you know what I mean? Down there. I mean, you would have to literally see what I mean when I say down there, all right? But let me describe to you when I say down there, right? When I crotch chop down there, that's what I'm talking about where this is dripping at. Down there. That's all I got to say about that one. Whew. But yeah, so what do you got to say about this, right? Oh, well, shit drips, drips. And Animal Farm is still cranking out stuff every day. I'm still making it 1% every day from drip, right? Animal Farm, man, I'm making money off of my piglets and farming all that stuff and all these different farms right holy shit and oh man it's it's good right is it really i mean is it really so how about this you better get out while the getting's good because right now things might be looking good to some people but then when you look at these things like you know, the, you know this has been going up and down for a very long time right you know but when you look at where it was and where it's been and all that stuff you know you're just going to be eating it really soon and you better get out while the getting's good because you don't want to be stuck holding the bag and that's what's going to end up happening real real soon where you're going to be stuck holding the bag, and I'm just going to be like, well, I told you so. But, you know, I guess the good times roll right now, right? Because, oh, shit, man, you know, Forex doing this, Forex doing that, the AMAs, the giveaways, the scratchies, all this stuff that's coming. Holy shit, man. But the bigger picture is the inevitable, all right? The bigger picture is that on the surface may be looking good, but deep down it's not so good because if all this work and effort is supposed to amount to something it's not really amounting to anything I mean why does he have to continue to inject money into it well because you know it's to keep it looking like it's doing good and it's doing fine but it's really not that fine right so when I check back in again the next week, it might be in the dollar something range. How about that? What are you going to say about that then? If it's in the dollar something range next week when I check in. Man, isn't that be crazy if that's true? Well, let's just hope that I'm wrong, right? Let's just hope that I'm wrong that it's not going to be in that dollar something range next week when I check in and rip on you guys once again and continue to just destroy Tiwi and for everything that he's about so there's one lumen out there right now right just sounds just like bits away all right and that Marcos is trash too but that's a whole different thing so anyhow where are all the people that talking about this how great it is and all that right it's just the same people. I mean, they're going to talk positive about it. Oh, yeah, this is great, man. The AMAs are great. All that stuff because, of course, the Jamie's out there, the Stunner Breeze out there. Of course, you know, they're making a ton of money from this. They're going to make it look like and spin everything up, right? As long as they can. I mean, if I was in their shoes, I would too, to be honest. I would. But the reality is, and I'm always real about this, is that this is a ticking time bomb. And it's time to get out while the getting's good. That's all I gotta say. We'll check back again next week when Drip is gonna be under $2. How about that? Comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.